What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today we have a long journey to Illinois. It's going to be about a five hour trip. We are headed to Jokers Motorsports. They are going to be porting and building my Charger Red Eye blower. You guys probably can see that the charger is not here and that's because it is all apart right now at the shop and I have the blower with me. So here is the blower. This is off my 2021 Charger Red Eye. This is a 2.7 liter blower and we are going to be taking it to Jokers. We pretty much took the lid off and one more thing that was in there. I'm not sure what exactly they took apart from this blower but it's pretty much ready to go and we're gonna be dropping it off at Jokers where they will be building it and porting it and we are gonna get a different pulley and we are gonna get a different throttle body as well. A way bigger throttle body similar to the setup on my Challenger. So we are gonna be taking the Grand Cherokee because this thing averages about 23 miles per gallon and my TRX averages about 7 miles per gallon so yeah it's pretty obvious that i'm going to be taking the grand cherokee because um i don't want to spend 500 dollars on gas just to go there it's just not worth it um, i thought this thing was on so yeah the grand cherokee it's pretty comfortable i've taken it to jokers i've been to jokers like two three times so the owner brett is a super awesome guy super genuine and he stands behind his work that's one thing you don't really see out of a lot of performance shops so he's not just a sponsor he is a friend and he plays a big part on this channel i mean he is porting and building my charger red eye he did my challenger and he's doing a trx so make sure to go give him a follow and give him your business i definitely definitely vouch for the guy i don't really vouch for many companies out there but i definitely vouch for him he is a very stand-up guy and he stands behind his work i guarantee you that first stop is fuel a full tank of gas will last me about 447 miles and that is about 200 more miles than what the trx would give me so it's a no-brainer that i take the grand cherokee on a five hour road trip over the trx it's just it just makes more sense and well we're definitely gonna get hungry on the way there so tim horns wouldn't hurt so now let's start this four and a half hour drive guys we are one minute away and we are in the middle of nowhere I mean just look at this there's like a few houses and then there is nothing out here and we're here at Joker's I got a nice Raptor over here oh he's actually calling me right now so here is my blower guys brand new man this car barely has a thousand miles we're already porting it Joker's man look at this Joker's performance the best <laughs> every blower I've had is, is coming straight to them so I'm dropping it off right now and they're gonna get it done for me. All right guys, so we're gonna leave the blower with him and it's gonna be a quick, quick process. Uh, Brett, the owner of Jokers, is gonna take care of it like real quick. He has the core, he has the snout ready. He's just putting everything together. He is porting and building my blower and he's also giving me a bigger throttle body and he's giving me a pulley. Um, make sure to check out Jokers Performance. I'm gonna leave their Instagram here and in the description below. If you have a blower, you wanna get it ported, Bill, they do all that and here's the best part they stand behind their work if anything goes wrong they take care of it they own up to it and they will get you set up trust me not a lot of companies out there do that and that's one thing i appreciate about brett and that's why we've been able to build a very successful relationship so we're gonna go grab food now and i just want to show you guys what's around nothing it is absolutely nothing around go ahead man yeah. come on go ahead okay back to what i was saying there's absolutely nothing around here look at this it's like probably a hundred to two hundred people that might live here i don't know look at this it is empty like we are literally in the country look at their police station right here it's kind of cool just it's super quiet, super relaxing out here. I'm not gonna lie. That's one thing I like about this place. All right, so we're gonna gas up the Jeep one more time for the way back. So we're gonna fill the Jeep up and probably go take a nap 
and he said he should be done so he prepared a lot of stuff for my blower so i don't have to leave it overnight or anything like that he has a brand new core all the bearings also got me a brand new snout that's already ported and done so he's getting everything ready and uh we'll be able to pick it up and go home three hours later all right guys so here is my blower and basically we ported it and built it here is brett so Brett is the owner, the man behind Jokers. He's going to explain everything we did, and he also threw in a few extra goodies for me. So, uh, yeah, take it from here, Brett. All right, so what we're setting up with uh, Ronnie is our new PWR-based intercoolers. These help uh, cool your IET2s um, with the boost that he plans on running uh, on 93, and you're going to 85. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, this will help cool it down. It also offers a better flow across the core for, well, like on my GT500, we picked up 30 wheel horsepower by switching to these intercoolers. Wow, awesome, awesome. So then we, uh, Andrew Zimmer at Grip Tech uh, hooked us up with one of his 285 Grip Tech pulleys like he's done on Ronnie's Red Eye and his, uh, well, maybe TRX. 100%. 100%. And I just want to mention one thing. So before I used to run Grip Tech, I used to run Hellraiser. And well, we pretty much destroyed my last blower on my Challenger because of the Hellraiser. And then ever since I upgraded to Grip Tech right here, it has just been amazing and no issues. Still running it, put a bunch of thousands of miles and a lot of races with this pulley. So awesome pulley company. What's the company that makes this? This is PWR. PWR, shout out to them for, for these. And then now the throttle body, let's talk about that. Uh, this is a throttle body that's made by VMP. They, uh, they do it a lot of engineering on this. It has, you know, a lot of hidden features on these that a lot of other companies don't offer right. that keep this throttle. This is why we sell this throttle body in our product. And that's why we sold it to Ronnie I think twice now. Yeah, this is the second, and it's hopefully yeah. we get it on yeah. the TRX now. And they also come with a one-year warranty, and they stand behind their product. And that is true, because when I had a little issue with my car, and we thought it was a throttle body, which it wasn't, literally, Brett had them sent two different ones, and there was absolutely nothing wrong with it, but they definitely warrantied it, and they shipped it out very quick, even before I even shipped mine. So awesome company, shout out to them. And now you want to talk about what you did here with right. your work. So we CNC the snout, we CNC the bearing plate, we put a dome cap in there, and then we have our race bearings, which are uh, better for RPM, better for heat, better for tolerances. So that way when Ronnie goes to push this thing on races, the bearing tolerances don't get all, you know, messed up and they stay true. So yeah. hopefully, like with his last blower, uh, when we got everything resolved the second time, we put those new bearings in and he's been racing it for over a year now and no problems, ready to rock and roll. Oh, also we got our new bushings installed in here. Um, Ronnie's gonna be going from a stock pulley to a 285 in one of his videos for testing. So we're hoping to see, you know, with this whole package for Ronnie, you know, 100, 150 horsepower to the wheel. Yeah, so basically what I'm doing is, uh, this is the stock pulley. So we're gonna run the stock pulley for right now and leave it on 93. We're gonna obviously dyno it and see what it picked up with a stock pulley and just porting and the throttle body. So we're gonna really see what his porting job does. What my tuner told me is, if I was to run this pulley or get the port job done, it picks up the same power. So we're gonna put that to the testing and then once I go on E85, I will be able to switch to this pulley and obviously it'll still be ported and then with the 105. So shout out to Brett, man. Every time I come in here, he's literally like family now. So yeah. shout out to everything. He stands behind his work and his word and he's never ever, I've seen a lot of situations that you've always manned up to everything and took care of everything. I and, and, I, and I speak from experience. So shout out to Jokers, shout out to Grip Tech, and shout out to what this company? PWR. PWR, you guys are awesome. And again, VMP as well for the throttle body. All right guys, so I got everything back here. Blower, the intercoolers, a few goodies in here. And now it's time to close the trunk. And we are actually heading to his house because he actually has a GT500. We seen it last time, it was pretty stock. I think I only had like a ported blower. He did a lot more stuff since then, so we're gonna go check that out. So we're pulling up to Brett's house. 
He also has a Raptor, so that, I guess that blue Raptor was his. Nice little setup he got. So here is the GT500, all covered up. Man, what, do you ever drive this? No. It just sits here. Well, he got us some merch though, too. I love snapbacks, so he got me this. Joker's Performance snapback. He got us, ooh, he got us a hoodie and a t-shirt. Oh, you already know, got a rep Jokers. Yeah, let's see this thing though. Right. We're here to let's see that. All right, look at this, it's green. Whew! I forgot it was green. Wow. Still looks brand new, dude. Yeah, he probably put like three miles since the last time I seen him. Well, I blew up the motor. You what? We blew up the stock motor at 1,300 miles. Wow, okay. What did you, what, how? Just cruising down the road. Just but I probably didn't treat it too nicely the first 1,000 miles, so. Okay. That's probably the reason for the failure. But since we've been modded, we've been fine. We put about 1,000 miles on the new mods. Okay, so is it like, actually, is it on E85? Not right now. Not right now. Okay. Wow. It's green. One of my favorite colors. I mean, you guys probably know that already. Yeah, I want to see. You got the hood pins. Have you ever had any problems with those hood pins? No, they've been pretty... I've seen a few GT500s where they kind of stop working after a little while. They're a little bit stiff, but if you put some... Uh, so all you do is like... There, that one side usually sticks a little bit. Everybody's scared to that. that. Everybody's scared to press them. <laughs> Ooh, it's purple. I did not see that coming. So that's another service he offers, you powder coat blowers. Yes, we can color match anything off prismaticpowders.com. Any color you want. This one's in uh, an illusion purple. We're gonna be taking that blower off and we're gonna be redoing it because you can see where it's spider webbed on the, uh, something got left on the hood mm -hmm. and when we shut it, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it, it kind of pinned it. So we're going to take that back off or put buy another emblem and get that covered back up. But we're going to be putting on a different blower perhaps here in the next couple of weeks. Oh, you are. So the Eaton 3100 TVS got canceled and they, uh, VMP is giving us one of their leftovers so okay. we can play with it. Just, just for, te fun. for testing? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, just for fun. Just, just for fun. fun. So. Okay. So this thing, how much power does it make? Uh, so we took the car up to I went I go up to West, I go up to Wisconsin for all my cars. Okay. And I use late model throttle up in uh, Waukesha, Wisconsin for all my cars. Wow. They actually this is actually my machinist. So 993 and 700 torque. It's because they can't get into the trans, I would say, right? At this point in time, they couldn't get into the trans, but now they are, uh, now they're able to get into the trans, or they're starting to. So that's on E85? That's on E85. Uh, Ken Bionis at Palm Beach Dino did the tuning. I think we are at 19 or 20 pounds. I, I'm not sure. It's so. not bad. Not bad for- No, it's not. It's only on a 265 pulley, so. Right. Uh, upper, right? Yeah, 265, no lower. Wow. And so there's this thing, it's running right now, right? Yeah, we can start it and you can hear it and hold nine yards. Okay, well let's start it because I definitely want to hear how it sounds. Woo! Yes, of course we're going to take it out on a drive. It also has the Toyo Proxies. Awesome, awesome tires. I really want to get them for my Hellcat. All right, we're gonna get in here. So he has Recaro seats in here. This is one of the nicer interior. So Alcantara right here. You got leather, Recaro right here. And then you got carbon fiber right here. So, and then also Alcantara steering wheel. So now I'm ready to go for a ride. So it's on 93 right now? 93, uh, it's on a 2.9 pulley. Um, we got rid of the uh, 2.6 because of uh, we didn't want to run too much boost on, you know, 93. Just 93 yeah. yeah, correct. So we're gonna go take it out for a spin. So we got a bunch of open road in the middle of nowhere. Wow, this is like heaven. Yeah, it's, this is where I do most of my pulls. We're gonna go down to about third gear, get in the 50, and we're gonna let it rip. Let's get it.
Dude, I know. So I've driven one, it shifts like clockwork. Like it's so smooth. You don't you almost don't feel like it's even shifting. No, it, it's just it's so it's smooth. so smooth. And Ken's got this car dialed in. You know, that was a 93 octane pull and you know Awesome, it feels so fast and it just keeps pulling. Yeah, I can only imagine this thing on E85. Oh, it's uncontrollable sometimes with the Toyos back there. They they did alright, you know. Yeah, they did alright. Toyos are pretty good street tires. But I mean that's fun. That I mean that's the first time I've driven it this year. And here we are on motor tube doing uh, 150 mile an hour blast. In the middle of nowhere. This is a, if I lived around here, I might kill myself. Because yeah. this is insane. You could do 200 mile pulls. It's just sh straight ahead and there's not a soul around you. That's the best part of this. No danger.